Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Research team. I am Sanjay. Inside this video session guys, we are going to start discussions over several variables between client side and the server side, which is basically browser storage concept. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions and playlists to get the clear concept about PHP, JavaScript and WordPress tutorials. Let's say that we have an application. Inside that application, we have two ends, means two sides, like client side and the server side. In some cases, we want to use the values at the client side. So how can we manage about the browser storage concepts to share the values on the client side? But in some cases, we want that the client side values should be used to our server side. So how can we send our client side value to our server side value to manage our application? So inside this video, we are going to learn about these concepts. At our client side, we have basically three storage area where we can store our values, what basically they are. If you go to the next slide, there are three storage areas, something called local storage, session storage and the cookie. But by using these two storage like local storage and the session storage, we can't share values with the server. By storing the value inside this cookie, the third parameter, we can actually share our values from our client side to our server side. So what is the basically difference between these storage areas? For that, we had made a video session at our YouTube channel. Now you can find inside the playlist something called Smart Programming Tricks for Beginners and this is the video something called What is the difference between local storage, session storage and the cookie? After getting the concept between these storage, you can understand about how can we actually store the values inside local storage, session storage and the cookie. So let's get started about storing value in local storage and see how basically we can work with local storage and the cookie parameters. If we back to folder structure, let's say that this is our directory. Inside this directory, I'm going to create a file something called index.php and open inside gedit editor. Now inside this, firstly, we need to include about jQuery plugins. So if we go to this slide, now here are specified file links actually you can download or we can download for our application. So if I copy this link back to our file and let's say that we are going to include let's say script src and we have included about jQuery plugins. It means that now we are going to access about jQuery code as well. So a script, a script here and let's say that this is all about the declaration of jQuery syntax. Now inside this code we are going to store the value inside local storage. So what will be the syntax for that? So for that we need to use called local capital S something called a storage dot set item. Inside this two parameters we have to pass something all about the key name and the key value. So let's say that we are going to store our email value inside our local storage and inside that let's say that online web tutorhub at gmail.com. Now if I save this file back to our browser and this is our directory and by default the index.php file is running. So if we go inside this application and here inside our local storage as we can see that right now no values is stored what we have specified inside index.php file. Now I am going to reload this page. So pressing F5 for that. Now after reloading as we can see that here email key is added inside this local storage and this is the at localhost URL and this is the value we have stored. Now this is concept about local storage set item. If we want to get this item at our browser, so let's say that if I make this comment here and if I write console.log, let's say that local storage dot get item 
and if I write only the key name, save this file, back to browser, go to console, reload this page, as we can see that we are getting the same value as we have saved inside this email key because we have stored that value inside local storage. So local storage values we can use in our client-side coding where we want to share some values along with our pages. Okay. Now what about session storage? Session storage is used if you go again back to browser, now open a new tab, open a new tab, this is called the tab session. If you want to store some value inside session, like here, we can actually use inside this also because the same session is shared along with these tabs. But once the browser is closed, the session storage is automatically destroyed. But local storage is still there in our browser if we again open our browser. These all differences actually we had discussed inside this video. Now as we have seen about that how can we store our values inside local storage. This storage area is only available for our client side sharing. We can't access this value inside server side. In some scenario let's say that we have an application we want to share this value to our server means we have stored in our local storage or inside browser storage. So how can we share the browser storage value to our server storage? So for that we have multiple options. Some developers might actually think about using Ajax for that. But using enormous amount of Ajax in our application is not a good practice. So how can we share values between client side and the server side? Now we are going to use about the cookie concept to sharing those values. Now how can we use the cookie? So for the cookie, we have a jQuery plugin. Now here as we can see, this is the CDN link. By going through the CDN link, actually we can download the cookie plugin. So if I copy this link back to our index.php file and now I'm going to make this script. Inside this script, I'm going to link this file here and successfully we have linked about jQuery plugin here. After loading this link, we can access about the jQuery plugin or let's say cookie plugin methods. So what methods they provide? So we have the syntax called dollar dot let's say cookie. Inside this cookie, we have various parameters, but we are going to use two parameters right now. First, the key and the second, the value. So let's say email and address. This is the key we have specified and we are going to attach the same email ID what we have given here. So copy and pasting it here. So if I save this file back here, again if I reload this page, go to application tab. Now inside this tab, this is about local storage and here we have called cookies. So right click on this local host URL. Now inside this, we have a name, cookie name that is email underscore address and this is the value that we have passed inside this email address. At the rate symbol is now converted into percent 40 symbol. So back here, now let's say that how can we get this value to our server. But before that, let's say that we want to access on the client side. So how can we use this value to our client side? So for that, let's say console.log and we have to simply write cookie and inside this cookie we have to pass the cookie name and something we have called email underscore address this is the syntax to retrieve the value from our cookie at client side so save this file back here reload this page successfully we have stored that value from here and go to console now this is the value this is all about the local storage value and this is all about our cookie value. So let's say that we are going to access about the cookie value to our server side. So let's say server.php. Now inside this PHP file, we are going to access the client side value from cookie. Now if I back to server.php file, now inside this file, as we know that actually PHP provides a global variable for that. Now what basically that variable is echo we have called dollar underscore cookie. These are the global variables of PHP. Now inside this cookie 
what we have to find right here this is the key so if I copy this email address go here inside the server.php and pasting it here so if I save this file successfully as we have stored inside index.php the value of cookie now we are going to retrieve the cookie value from the server.php file let's suppose that this is an application here we have a client side and now from the server side we are receiving that so if I back to browser open a new tab again and let's say that I'm going to write server dot PHP if I press enter this is the value we have stored inside the cookie and now successfully we have retrieved over the server so in various cases in our application where we want uh, the shareable variables between client side pages as well as in some cases we want to share, share our client side values for the server side so by the same concept we can implement in our application and we can achieve what amount of variables we want to share over the client side and the server side apart from the cookie storage area of our client side no storage area we can access from the server only cookie we can ac access now inside cookie as we know that there are various parameters if you back to browser again go here go to application inside cookie so inside this cookie value as we can see that name value domain path expiration and many more parameters here we have inside our cookie parameters so we can set all these parameters right here inside this cookie available plugin method just go and read about the documentation about using jQuery plugin sorry using cookie plugin with their optional parameters so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day